What's up, everybody? Welcome to another bumper edition of the Morgies Podcast, Voice of the Underground. K Kida yeah, is yeah. in the house. What a do, guys? K Kida, man. We ain't kidding. I'm here, right? <laughs> Finally. K Kida, man. All right, thanks for having me here, man. man. Come on, man. K Kida, man. Yeah. How y'all doing, man? I'm okay. What bro. is K Kida? K Kida. K Kida is me. <laughs> <laughs> Who is K Kida? Oh, I'm a musical artist. All right. Producer, rapper, mm. singer. Mm. Yeah, like a professional mixing and mastering engineer. Mm. Yeah, that's wow. basically it. <laughs> wow, you know you ain't playing, man. Yeah, uh, I ain't playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, I actually wanted to wanted, wanted to start this podcast uh-huh. with Kay Kida with a freestyle. Can you hit him up with a freestyle, man? Nah, right, no problem. Come on, let's go, <laughs> Kay Kida. Do it, voice of the underground with um, Kay Kida. Let's go. Um, um, see a free drum so a speed like I got that TV. Yo, see me and a big screen. TV, what the hell you going to hate me? What's it gonna be? It's Kida, see, I got the big eyes, so I see you. <laughs> Spiritual, individual, dudes try to get me, ladies try to be sexual. <laughs> Paradise, six times I draw the dice, but I always win, I tell you the truth, I never lie. Realize, the main man is K Kida, see, I'm trying to get me a little ride. Empala, they try to get me, young niggas trying to holler, I'm coming by to get you what a low sala. What a low sala. What a sala. On that note, welcome to the Murugis Podcast officially. Voice of the underground with your host, Christopher Audley. That is me. Woo. <laughs> All right, K. Kira, you a producer. Yeah, yeah. Or beat maker. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, you, you, you are rounded in all of these things. Yeah, yeah. You know, not a couple of artists actually, like, you know, can step up like that, you know? Yeah. How did you come about all of these things? Where did it all get started? Well... Your musical journey. Yeah, How yeah. did it get started? Well, I was actually still in primary. All right. Grade 8. Because, mm. like, my school was, like, a combined school, so it was from grade 1 until mm. grade 9. All right. So when I was still in grade 8, mm. there was a there was an event at my, at my school, and then mm. there was this other crew which, which came to perform it that event at mm. our school. All right. And then we also wanted to perform, but we didn't have any songs, you know? Mm-hmm. And then what we do is that we came with a desk of te- like a, a, a desk and then we started making a beat using our hands. Mm. And then some of them were rapping and then I also rapped. And then those dudes mm. decided to add me on their crew. Like they, they approached me after their event and mm. then they, t- they told me that like, yo, why don't we add you on our crew? Mm. And then we will we, we'll be like, mm. they, they actually was a jewel. Mm. And then they added me and there was a trail. Wow. And then when we went there, like we got to our first like recording session. Mm. And when we got there, when, when the producer was like, I mean the beat maker mm. was making a beat. I was like, is that it? Like, mm. is that what, it, what you need to make a beat? Like, mm-hmm. I was like, ah, I can do that mm. also. Like, that's what I was, I was telling myself. And then after we left, I asked for those softwares from that dude, Mm-mm. and he gave me. Wow! And after a year, I was like, mm. I knew how to make a beat. Like I, I knew the basics of making a beat. Mm. And then after a couple of years, mm. I was then known as like the youngest producers in my in my hood. Like, wow! Yeah. <laughs> which, which which hood is this? Um, it's it's at Pumalanga. All right. And I was spread in a small township called mm. township cold game you're right so yeah that's where i was born mm. that's where i grew up okay yeah now um you d- when when did you d- your ep intro yeah. yeah yeah when did that drop uh i released it like last year it did well it, it did so well i mean mm. it did so well like it, it got a lot of streams not only on spotify itunes and like across all the platforms yes uh, it got like mm. over a hundred and 12k streams or some somewhere there but wow. then they increase right now because like people mm. are still streaming it you mm. see like i'm even so glad that it's still pushing even at this moment wow like yeah wow wow yeah, yeah that's that's a lot for a young artist right? yeah yeah it's a lot. You, do you agree to be called a young artist or? <laughs> yeah because i'm still young so yeah <laughs> it's not a, a big couple, deal a couple of guys who said no man i'm not a young artist <laughs> you signed to any record label nah I'm actually mm. 
trying to push my own, but then hey, it's tough out there. Your own Obviously. record label. Yeah. Well, that's that's a hustle, man. That's yeah, a hustle, yeah. man. Cause wow. Like, oh. Cause like mm. these record labels these days, like it's 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 tough to get there, mm. and even if you get there. You get crooked a lot, mm. <laughs> so like, hey, it's better if you try to start something on your, mm. like, for yourself, mm. and then you start pushing. What do you? Because like, you, you can't, you can't be waiting on a record label to sign you, because mm. you gotta, you, you can, you can even wait for like ten years or so. So mm. it's better if you push yourself. Like, it's better if you do your own thing. Mm. Yeah. What do you mean by get crooked a lot? Like, mm. okay, we can see like how a lot of artists are living. South African le- record levels. Like I don't want to mention names, you mm. know. Can <laughs> I mention names? Yeah. <laughs> okay, man, man, let me make it an, an example. Give an of, example. Drop it like it's hard. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like ambitious entertainment, bro. Okay. A lot of artists are leaving that that record level, mm. and for valid reasons, you know. Mm. Like. Oh, you it's say not for, like I'm for being on, valid reasons. Yeah, it's not like I'm being on artist side, mm. but then, due to what I'm hearing. Mm. It's kind of like the record level is shit. <laughs> so I wouldn't, mm. I wouldn't allow myself to fall for those type of record levels, you know. Is it? So like, it's better if I start my own, mm. like, and try to push it. You know, listen, Kekita, I'm, yeah. I'm really, really happy that, you know, as an artist, you yeah. are the one who is touching on all of this. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So you said, based on what you heard, all yeah. right? Yeah, You know, You know why? Because... You know, people yeah, yeah. also want to hear from the artist's point of view. Yeah. And also, if we can get some record label or indie record label, maybe from the very record label that you mentioned, yeah. we can get them to the podcast. Who would do too? Because it's all about educating people. Yeah. It's all about you know promoting ourselves. It's all about educating people and everything. This mm-hmm. is this is the voice of the underground and the more just yeah, yeah, podcast. Yeah. So I just want to ask, like, what exactly are some of those things that you heard uh-huh. that actually inspire you or push you to 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 take up the hustle on your own independently. What are some of those reasons that you've been hearing? Yeah, like the thing is, now mm. we as artists, mm. we're not actually in this game for fame. Oh, mm. like to get girls. Mm. <laughs> you know, it's part of it. <laughs> nah, like <laughs> we're actually doing this. Okay, this is a music business, actually. Exactly. Like, we have to like we we in this for money, actually. Mm. So if we don't get that money, mm. it's useless to do it. Even if we we have fame, but we, like, mm. what's the what's the use of having fame with no cash? Like, how can an artist mm. like who's making hit records, mm. people know those records, mm. he's getting booked a lot, mm. and then they only they only pay him twenty k a month, only to find out that on a like on a single event mm. you get paid like maybe fifty grand. Mm. And then you only get 20k a month and you you get like maybe mm. five six events per month mm. but you only get 20k out of that mm. so like uh it's it's wow. fucked up it's pretty fucked <laughs> 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 so basically k kida is right on the business yeah like i'm on the business side actually <laughs> we need for cash like you know, so talking about this business, then it's, it's quite interesting to me. Yeah. Fascinating. What is what do you call it? Global Plug Nation. Yeah, Global what is Plug Global Nation. Plug Nation. Uh, it's actually mm. uh, kind of like a record label that I wanna put out there. So this is your own thing. Huh? Yeah, it's my own thing. Wow. Like I, I do everything on myself, like on that one. Like mm. I can't say that I'm signed under my record label right now, <laughs> which is Global Plug Nation, of course. Okay. So, like. I have like a few artists that I'm working with, mm. which is Jade Flacco. Mm. They actually two, All right. just to be specific, it's mm. Jade Flacco, mm. and Get Together. Get the to very, me. the mm. very same person that I featured on my upcoming single, which is Sorry, All right. which I'm releasing on the 29th of November. Yeah, so we'll get, we'll get to that, man. So, yeah. um, now Global Plug Nation uh-huh. is your entity. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That you're using like to launch your musical career. Yeah. Yeah. You know because it, you know your story is fascinating. The more, the more we get deep, the more is you know becoming more and more beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not to give away the secret of your business. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. How are you putting all of that together? You know, with even your own artists at, at, at the background and everything. How are you putting it all together? One thing that I'm always mentioning when I come across this type of question, mm. like. 
artists should stop going to artists okay. and ask for advices and stuff. Okay, you what, like, what you they should start going to artists or they should stop. Um, they should well, start or I, I, they should stop. They should stop. Oh, they should stop. Yeah, okay, should, they should stop going to artists and ask for advice. Cause like, mm. okay, let's let, let me make an example. Let's say I'm I'm a chef, mm -hmm. and then I, I'm regarded as, as one of the best chefs, mm. and then a chef who's trying to get to my level comes to me, mm. and and be like, yo what's your recipe? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't give him because like, I know that he's trying to get to where I am and I'll lose my market. Mm. See? So like, artists won't give you their recipe. You're right. They won't. Mm. To get to the point where I am right now, mm. it's all because of the internet. Okay. The internet has like, almost everything that you need to know right now. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, yeah, I'm still like, at, at, like in college, like doing music business. Mm. Like, I get new things there, but then almost everything that I'm learning there, mm -hmm. I knew it already, like through the internet. So like the internet has almost everything that you need to know. Mm -hmm. Like if you want to know how to get your music to mm -hmm. Spotify, mm -hmm. iTunes, actually all the digital stores, mm -hmm. you can just type on Google, they will show you that. You can even get tutorials on YouTube and all that. So mm -hmm. like what I, what, I, what I can advise them is that they shouldn't look for advices on other artists mm. and it's it, and it's pretty hard to get to to like to those artists like just to get to let's 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 say mm. i want to get to an stc like mm. just just to talk to him and mm. find out like ideas on how to get my music out there mm -hmm. he's busy bro mm. like you you can't really get hold of him mm. but if you do he won't tell you his secret exactly yeah mm -hmm. so you gotta set your own knowledge like you gotta get your own knowledge you know um uh k Keita, man i want to welcome you once again to voice of the underground you know yeah yeah thanks because, a lot man just because of these things that you've been mentioning you know what i'm saying yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah because you know at Morgis podcast we also have the christopher oddless notebook yeah yeah where exactly we talk about some of these things that you actually mentioning now yeah yeah you know, and this is the whole idea about Morgis podcast like yeah you know, people that come through, they share idea besides promoting your music and all that. Yeah, yeah. You know, for me, you actually like, you touch me where it's actually pinching. You know, when yeah. you come through, you know, as young as you are, you're talking about the music business. Yeah. And then you're talking about how to, you know, get things done. Yeah. It's, it's, it's fascinating, man. It's, it's, it's actually fascinating. Yeah. You know, so how did you, how did you, you know, you know, come to realize that, you know, that this is the route that you need to take. You know, these are the kind of things that you actually needed to do. Besides, you know, I know you touched about, uh, you talked about, um, you know, some local record labels, with yeah. local artists, you yeah. know, engaging in so many fights and all that. Yeah. That could have been a motivation for you, all right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but then, even before that, how did you, after being motivated by that, Yeah. so, what inspired you like you need to set up you know global nation plug or global plug nation global plug nation yeah and in fact know some of all of these things that you're telling me now when what what sparked you you know like i would say i mean i'm an internet boy oh, that's <laughs> like great. yeah like mm. uh during my research on mm. I, I i forgot what i was searching for mm. like I just came across like on how do you distribute your music mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. like how do you yeah like how do you actually distribute your music and then right. i noticed that a lot of people in my i mean let, let me say a lot of artists mm -hmm. in my town mm -hmm. they don't know how to get their music out there and then i thought like what if, what do, why don't i start like something mm -hmm. i mean like a company which can allow artists from my town mm. to distribute music to all those digital platforms. Mm -hmm. And then that's where Global Pla Plug Nation came about. Like right. I, it actually started as like a music distribution company, mm. like where people can submit their music and then we get them the, their music to iTunes, mm. Spotify and all those digital stores. Mm. So from there, I thought I should take it up a bit. Like I should make it mm. sort of like a record level. Mm. So every song that I release right now mm. is being released under Global Plug Nation. Wow. 
So that's how Global Plug Nation came about, actually. Wow, that's nice. Like, yeah. On that note, man, I need to ask you. So besides making this music for yourself, yeah, all right, yeah, do you also uh, make beats and music for other artists? Yeah, I do. I do. Actually, back where I'm from, like Pumalanga mm. mm. game, mm. I'm regard I'm regarded as one of the best producers around my town. So uh, yeah, big up. So So yeah, there's a whole lot of artists that produce music for. All right. Like, and I also work with other artists when making beats. Like we also collaborate. Mm. Sometimes I make a beat and then feel like it's missing something, and then I send it to another producer and then he adds some elements and then mm. he'll make a hit mm. wow. <laughs> so yeah like i'm not that um self-focused guy type of guy right. like i also work with other people mm. yeah like on a commercial basis like you produce for you know people yeah if you've got a, you set up a studio for that or something yeah we got it we, we, we have a studio it's just that now i relocate i relocated to Jobic, so i mm. came with all my things there like Good. to this side so mm. I took my studio with me. Good, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. So based on your experience, would you, let's say for example, yeah. you have an opportunity mm -hmm. to get like, uh, to get to work with mm -hmm. major distribution companies like yeah. all of those big fights. And I don't, I don't like to mention your name because yeah. I don't do that on my podcast because of the monopoly yeah. Uh, yeah. status. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if you have the opportunity to work with those people, do you want to work with them too? I would like love to. Get to. Signed under them. I would love to. So why would you want to get signed there? Like, uh, I, 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 it actually depends on what mm. they wanna offer. All right. You see, so like, okay, I'm the type of artist which is looking for mm. a distribution deal, not a recording deal, cause like, mm. I have my own studio. Okay. I make my own beats. Mm. I actually make my records like the final records mm. i can make them on my own so i'm not actually looking for a a, a recording deal okay. i need just a distribution deal so i would sign mm. i would sign under a record label for a distribution deal yeah but that's what you're already doing on the internet isn't it <laughs> yeah but then to reach that market like the market that uh, uh, like those big artists like the nstcs the caspers mm. the akas mm. You need those major record labels, so mm. yeah. So that's what I mean, actually. Yeah, like right. I'm actually looking forward to mm. signing with a major record label for distribution, like Global Plug Nation distributing under maybe Sony or Universal, mm. like those major record labels. So, like, okay. what exactly do you think is actually the challenge for an independent record label? Now. Uh, it's 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 the distribution part actually. What 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 is it as in this distribution process like, that you cannot overcome on your own? Um let's say let, let's make an example of universal music. Mm -hmm. They have the right connections right now. Like mm -hmm. they've okay. been in the game for like mm -hmm. decades now. Mm -hmm. So like if you distribute your music under them mm -hmm. like you can get a lot of Spotify playlisting, mm. like even like, actually they have the right connections to the public. Okay. So like you can reach a lot of people when distributing under them. Mm. And like when I'm distributing for myself, right. cause like I don't have a lot of connections, mm. like I don't have the right stream, mm. strings, I mean. Mm. So if you're distributing under a major record company, mm. then you reach a whole lot of people. And, it, and if you, you can get like, Sony or Universal on your side mm. or Warner. Mm. There's a whole lot of major record companies there. Like you can reach the whole world mm. if you're distributing under them. So right. if you distribute under Global Plug Nation, mm. like it's mm. just maybe around your week or <laughs> so yeah, like All it's right. better if you distribute in a major record company. Okay, now I'm gonna bring you back. Yeah. Don't you think that, okay, don't you think that getting yourself signed up under that, uh -huh. the wings now, yeah. is same as from where you were running away from that? You don't sign no record deal with no record label. Yeah. Yeah. 
So what is the difference between you signing a record deal with uh-huh. a record label yeah. and signing a distribution deal? What's the difference? Well, they won't have to spend money on you on your records, actually. Okay. Like you just record your records on your own mm. and then you give them your music mm. and then they distribute it. So they won't have access mm. to to get a lot of your money, like mm. to get a, a lot of your music money. Cause like mm. if you record music under them, mm. they'll charge you like recording costs. Mm. Okay, they give you advance fee, we know that, but mm. then they will recoup that mm-hmm. after some, so like some, some time. So like when your music starts selling, mm. They'll, they'll want their money back. So that's why you don't make money. Okay. They'll tell you that from your events, mm. we'll take like a certain percentage mm. just to recoup the money that we gave you for your recording. Mm-hmm. So if you just record your music on your own mm. and then you give them for like for distribution only, mm. that's where you, 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 you get like mm. the whole money from performances and all that mm. for yourself. Mm. You don't have to pay people for that. Mm. So. Uh, that's that's one advantage of it like just signing a distribution deal mm. instead of a recording deal wow man kt yeah. the breaking it down like that man on the Moroji's podcast voice yeah, yeah. of the underground big time man <laughs> 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 no doubt man this dude know his story man <laughs> yeah all right man let's okay now your new singer yeah all right yeah is dropping yeah on the 29th isn't yeah 29th it? yeah this month tell us about that single well it's titled sorry mm. um i featured get together he's from cape town all right yeah we just met on the net i like this stuff a lot mm. like i love his music like mm. he's those type of artists where he has like a lot of talent mm-hmm. but doesn't know how to get the, like mm. his music out there so mm. i just felt like i should add add him mm. on my like mm. global plug nation team mm. so that whenever he drops his music like mm. i can also help mm. so you see so like that song mm. i featured him it's titled sorry mm. uh the concept of it like okay the motivation like i was there was this other day where, when i was thinking uh mm. like to get where i'm from like my parents didn't like this music thing at all mm-hmm. like every time when i was mentioning like i i want to do music mm. I don't want to do anything other than music. They were like, no, you got to find a real job, man. Like, <laughs> so, and then I, I didn't think, thought like, I should write a song about it. So the hook goes like, the hook goes like this. Please, I, I actually wanted to ask you that. Yeah, like, <laughs> I'm really sorry to the family. I couldn't chase the dreams that you set for me. I couldn't be a cop as you wanted me to be, but I promise y'all I'ma get paid through this. Matter of fact, I'ma get rich through this. Matter of fact, y'all gonna be proud of me. I hope you'll accept my apologies, but I really can't. It just can't be what you felt to be. You see, Woo-hoo! like, nice, I can't man. really be what they felt to be. Okay, like, mm. the reason why your parents don't want you to do mm. music or let's say any other career, mm. they had those dreams like, okay, when I grow up, I wanna be a pilot. Mm-hmm. And then they, they couldn't reach those dreams because of certain, mm-hmm. I don't know, <laughs> but then, mm-hmm. and then they they felt they feel like they should set their dreams to you, like they should like shift their dreams to you, mm-hmm. like they want you to uh, to be mm-hmm. what they wanted to they what they wanted to be. So that's what I'm trying to emphasize on this song. Like I can't be what they felt to be. <laughs> See, it's kind of like a dis this track to my parents, but then <laughs> it's not really a diss track. I'm just I'm just exp- uh, like expressing my feelings, like sp- expressing how I feel about this whole thing. Good man. But I'm I'm clear right now that they understand that I'm doing music, mm. and they see potential in that. So yeah. yeah. All right, man. Global Plug Nation, K Kida in the yeah. house, Mochi's <laughs> podcast, voice of the underground, holding it down like that. Yeah. Now, let's talk about you know some of the artists that that's been getting you inspired. Yeah. Locally, who are those? Locally, yes. I'm being inspired by an STC. Reason because he's my age. Mm-hmm. Like he's doing it big. Like he's mm-hmm. out there, bro. Like he's living the life that I want to live. Okay. <laughs> <You see? laughs> so, the fact that he's my age mm. and he's exactly where I want to be. Mm. 
well i wouldn't say exactly where i want to be but then he's out there mm. yeah. so like he motivates me like nasty c mm. um frank casino okay uh there's a whole lot actually okay. just to mention a few like mm. nasty c frank casino and then um, what, what about internationally I grew up listening like the reason why I started doing music mm. I was listening to Lil Wayne a lot. Okay. <laughs> Funny enough mm. my artist name was like a Lil like it it had a Lil on it. <laughs> <laughs> like li- like Lil Kid or something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, when I was growing up, okay, when I was producing for people like most of them were calling me King like yo King, can you do me a bit? Yo King, like I have a song like can we work on it? They all, they always call me king and I like the kid part of me okay cuz like I was the youngest producer remember so like they were calling me kid some of them were calling me kid like mm. your kid mm. and then I blended the kid with the king and oh. then decided to use just the k on the king oh. like k kid oh that's where it came from yeah that's that's exactly what I was actually looking for yeah. when we started when I asked you was kid Oh, yeah, oh. Was yeah that was <laughs> now you now yeah. you actually <laughs> responded now Yeah, yeah. All right. So you've got Nasty C and your Lil Wayne and all of that. that yeah. You know, they got you inspired. Yeah, yeah. All right. Did you start it as a rapper or did you start it because like most people, or most young artists, maybe you started in the church singing some choir or <laughs> you started uh, as a rapper? <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't like church when growing up. <laughs> <laughs> the first artist I've ever, I've ever met saying that. <laughs> so, like, I actually started as a rapper. All right. Because remember... I told you before like I told you earlier that mm. we, we were there was an event and then we, we were making beats on the table mm. like just drums playing drums on the table and then I rapped and then they decided to add me and the crew so I started as a rapper yeah all right yeah okay now um as a hip hop award has just come and gone yeah did any of your favorite artists locally scoop anything yeah Who flame flame okay. he scooped like the mm. best male artist mm. and Oh, fresh man. Yeah. Mm. So like I uh, I really feel like he deserved it cuz like mm. Actually, I wanted him to to, to take that award yeah. right. Um best album mm. of the year. <laughs> cuz I really love that album, mm. bro. Like So this the dude that took the best album is not your favorite. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a young star CPT or something. Yeah. It's not your favorite? Why? Well, I wouldn't say he's not my favorite. I like I like his music, but all then all right. so, uh, I'm not really. So, but why you do? Why you why are you so much into Flame? Uh, Flame does the type of music that I do. All right. Yeah. So like, every time when I'm listening to Flame, I feel like I'm listening to myself. Oh, great! That's great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's great. Great, yeah. great. 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 So that's the mm. that's, that's 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 the reason why I like Flame a lot. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um. What? So now let's let's be very specific. I know you've actually talked about the the content already. All yeah, right. Yeah. Of your new single dropping on the twenty ninth of uh, November. All right. Yeah. Which means it's like we're just a week away from here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's great. Um. What can people expect from that single? Well, that the question it means that what can people expect from this very single? Yeah. That. You never delivered on your first EP. Yeah. Now this is like a step forward, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So what? What's what's new? What can people expect from Kekida on this? Like I, I I'm being, uh, emotionally mm. in it. I'm being emotional in a trap way though. Okay. Yeah. Like, I don't know if you get it, but then, mm. I'm expressing my feelings on this track, mm. but it's it's a trap. It's a tra- it's a trap song. Like it it's vibey. Mm. Like it's banging actually. But then, at the same time, I'm being emotional on it. Like, it's kind of like emotional feelings blended in a vibey way, stuff like that. So, it's actually a great song, bro. Like, it's it's even out there. Like, you can pre-order it on iTunes and Spotify. And wow. Actually, all the- I got nominated after releasing like that EP last year. Mm. Uh, I got nominated like on the category of the best newcomer. Mm. Yeah, so. A lot of my fans voted for me, mm. and I won. Wow. <laughs> I took it home. <laughs> That's congratulations on that, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So how does it feel collecting an award? Though? I like it was the first time, so I felt so great, man. Like wow. I even my family was taking pictures with me when I, I brought wow. it home. Like, <laughs> <It's> like <laughs> that's where they started 
What did like you say? Thanks this. to my mother, <laughs> my fans for making this come through. Funny enough, you know. <laughs> funny enough, I was so excited that I didn't say anything. I just oh. like, I just said, thank oh. you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Then All I right. Sit, take you know, now let's mm-hmm. get to on the, the process of trying to get in the mainstream. Yeah. In any music industry. Yeah. All right. Yeah. How how was the radio the the commercial radio accepting your music? Well. Okay, like I, I've been on like mm. a whole lot of radio interviews. Okay. Whenever I'm submitting my music, mm. I don't submit my music as like. Uh, requesting for airplay mm-hmm. i send it through as like um requesting a radio interview all right so they then tell me that no you have to submit your submit music your first. music first mm-hmm. before we give you an, uh, an interview mm-hmm. so i tell them like no the music is, o- is already on that email so mm-hmm. check it out mm-hmm. you see mm-hmm. so that's where they <laughs> get the chance to like listen to the music and I don't even like send the music to the radio compilers mm, mm. like I'm even, I, I'm giving them my my yeah, strategy now <laughs> yeah I'm not sending to the mm. compiler mm. like if ever I wanna like be like get an interview on a mm. a radio a radio show mm. I look for the radio host mm-hmm. like that sh- the, the host of that show mm. and then I send the music to him or her mm. and then that's how I actually get my music there. Like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so him or her will say like, no, you have to submit your music. And mm. then I'll be like, no, the, the music is already on that email. So mm. why don't you refer it to the to, compiler? To, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's how I do it. Like she then, or he then mm. refer the music to the compli- to mm. compiler. Mm. And then they'll be like, yeah, this fit, like this, this, this deserve a radio play. Wow. Let's give him an interview and then I go. That's discreet, hey? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's so intelligent. Wow, that's great. That's great. That's great. Yeah. So, which means you were not part of those generation that always say, no, radio stations don't want to play my music. Yeah. Radio stations, don't, you don't have all of those kind of... You really need a strategy to, to do almost everything on your music career. Not just the music career. Mm. Even your acting career and all those. Mm. You just need a strategy. Wow. Yeah. That's nice, man. So... Um, Kate Kida, you know, breaking it down, all of the tips in the music business, you know, he's so young and flying and yeah. flying high. <laughs> <laughs> Kate Kida, man. Yeah. You know, man, I'm more or less like a fan already, man. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Brad. Thanks man, a lot. You know, what I, what I mean is that, you know, a couple of artists wouldn't even understand this thing that you've just breaking down. Yeah. You know, because these are some of the things that, like, like I said to you, that we actually touched on on the Christopher Oddless Notebook on the Morgis Podcast. Yeah. Where we're teaching the music business. That's yeah. that's so great of you. I, I totally agree with you. Yeah. Everything that you've just said. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for that. Yeah. So is any is any new thing that is coming up like performance or merchandise launch or anything that you want to launch? Yeah, I, like? I, I'm launching uh mm. my t shirts like next next year, January. Right. Okay. But I'm planning to launch it on, on like when we're approaching the mm. end of January though. Like mm. there are some t-shirts that i'm launching and then there are events that i'm that i'll be mm. performing at like this december all right even now in november because mm. like 29 november i have a mm. an, an event at woodbank okay um it's at at, at Arcoville, okay border street mm. like um it's a hip-hop show actually so mm. what i did there is that like i asked from them mm. like to like, like make the event mm. kind of like the hip hop show that they're hosting mm. and also mention that I'm launching my new track there. Mm. So that's what the event is all about actually. Mm. And okay. then 30 November I'll be at Club Chillers okay. back back in the spray. All right. And then for, for, no, for, for December, I mean, mm. I'll be at Sabi. Okay. This other event with like Sabi Social, it's a hip hop mm. event also. All right. There'll be Frank Casino there also. Okay. Like it's one of the my my, my best yeah. artists, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah. No man, you're doing it, man. 
thanks a lot, doing bro. It, doing it, man. Thanks a lot, so man. So the t-shirt, precisely, you say you're dropping it, your merchandise yeah. January. Yeah. And you've got like you know, you've got your calendar like pinned out for the year already. For yeah, the yeah. Part of this year already. Yeah. Yo, man, congratulations on that, man. Congratulations on all of the big things that you already pinned out. Salute, chat, man. And most chat. of all, welcome to the Morgis Podcast. Thanks a is lot for having me, bro. Is that you think? <laughs> is there anything that you think that I didn't ask you? that you won't get out of your chest. Uh, you didn't ask me where to get my music. Beautiful, <laughs> that's it, let's go, do it. <laughs> so my music is available on mm-hmm. all digital stores, all, right. all digital platforms. Mm-hmm. Like if you can go to iTunes and then search for Kira, you'll get me. Mm-hmm. Or even if you can search Kira on Google, like you can get almost everything. Did you drop everything. it on Mojis Music though? Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, I did. Tell you can more, also, man. You can also get it at Mojis, like you can just search K Kira there also. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll link the links on my social accounts, which is um, mm. K underscore Kira S A on every account like Facebook, Twitter, Twitter. Like Instagram. Yeah, right, it's K man. underscore Kira S A. Go check the boy out, man. His name is K Kira. He knows everything about the music business. You can learn a thing or two from K Kira. On that note, man. This is Morgis Podcast, voice on the underground, K Kida, Morgis Podcast, Christopher Audley, your horse. Peace. Peace out. <laughs> K-